This is a rare ear malformation called cryptosia, where abnormal muscles attach to the upper part of the ear. These muscles pull the ear underneath the scalp, causing it to be buried underneath the scalp. That's why it is called a crypt, uh, osha meaning O-T-A-I-A -A, meaning uh, the ear, so cryptosia is the name of this deformity. It occurs in less than 1% of all ear deformities and ear malformations. As you can see here, uh, this ear deformity was corrected with ear molding. Uh, both these ear deformities were corrected with ear molding. And usually there is no cartilage missing, but there is skin that needs to be stretched. And so by doing ear molding, we are stretching the skin, we're stretching the muscles and, and opening up the ear cartilage so it's not compressed down as you see in the pictures that are on the left side. Uh, you can see the after picture showing a good shape of the ear and there is now a space uh, up, uh, behind the ear on the upper part of the ear. This allows uh, kids as they grow up to be able to wear eyeglasses and sunglasses which are very difficult to wear uh, when you don't have the top of your ear kind of sitting out uh, like you see. So surgery later on can be quite extensive and it does not result in a, a near perfect appearing ear like you see in these uh, seen here. And in fact, they end up with a lot of scarring. They may have some pain after surgery and even develop some keloid scars that may require steroid injections. Uh, doing skin grafts is necessary to try and get the ear to have enough skin behind the ear. And so this is an extensive surgery that can be avoided with ear molding. So it is the first line of treatment uh, for cryptosia should be ear molding. And it is very important to recognize this ear deformity when the baby is first born and to get in to see an ear molding specialist as soon as possible to avoid future surgery. This is a functional ear deformity. This is not a cosmetic ear deformity. So a lot of times people will say, well, this is just for the appearance. No, there is a functional ear, uh, functional purpose to the ear uh, by having the ear sit in a more normal position. And uh, you can uh, talk with children who are affected by this ear deformity and they will tell you they can't wear glasses and they can't wear sunglasses.